Hey guys, welcome to Better You. Hope you all are doing fine and safe. Alright, let's move into the video. So if you guys read by today's title, it says truly, madly, deeply in love. Okay, so why did I choose this topic? So initially when I started my Instagram account, maybe I've gone live twice or thrice on my Instagram. And uh, when I had gone live, okay, I had a few questions that some people really asked me about being in love or about being in a relationship. Okay, and those questions really made me think all right and i always had those questions in my mind so i thought this could be a really good opportunity for me to maybe answer those questions or give my opinions on those questions but just letting you guys know this is absolutely not a professional advice i'm not a professional counselor this is just my opinion about it okay so without any further delay let me move into the question so that we can start talking about it okay so i just realized from my previous clip uh, that is my introduction clip that the light settings was not really great over there so i had to make a slight change because surian suitifying and making a lot of changes to my video okay so now let's go into the questions okay the first question um i have here is how do you choose a partner guys let me tell you this is not a choosing business this is absolutely there's nothing for you to choose you just have to go with the flow that is what relationships are all about you cannot keep planning everything you cannot keep uh, you know taking everything you know put trying to put everything in an order keeping it organized that's not how relationship works guys you just have to go with the flow it has to look neat and nice so you don't uh, get to choose somebody you you get to think about somebody so when i say think about somebody on our day-to-day -day life whenever we go out shopping anywhere it could be we just meet a lot of people but some of them when you see them you might have a spark okay and when you start talking to them something might tell you that you know this is a quality that i like about this person so if you really feel that about somebody start talking to them make a good friendship with them okay if that person can really be a good friend then you are in the right path okay so then start thinking about if you really can move ahead but ensure you keep it step by step i do believe in love and first sight yes love at first sight does exist and uh, you don't fall in love instantly yes true but even if you fall instantly take it step by step so that mm -hmm. this does not you know end up in a wrong way okay so you need to think you don't need to choose you know don't need to be cruel but you need to think okay about what you're doing but don't try to hold everything and say i'm going to keep it organized this is how i'm going to be this is what it has to be then yes you are you are doing a choosing business there so that's my answer for this so think take it step by step make the person your friend and then move ahead. move ahead move ahead okay so this is my opinion on my first question so let's move on to the second one is so this might have a lot of blooper alerts uh, so just manage on that with me moving to the second question how important is giving time somebody asked me how important it is to give time in a relationship relationship is all about time so whenever you take up something i always believe in building up a foundation to it okay maybe love maybe your skin every effort that you really make every hard work that you really do in your life you need to build up a foundation you need, it needs to have a base only then you can move ahead and for, forward with it so now giving time time is the base is what i would say as much as you guys give time to each other that much you guys can understand each other that much of space you guys have okay to you know talk to each other get to know each other so spend as much as time possible that doesn't mean i'm asking you to forget your personal life forget your personal preferences forget everything and just be with that person that's not what i mean see yes we have our day-to-day -day life yes we have our own stuffs to do we have our privacy we have our private space as in how you start organizing your day there will be some time that will be left for you for that person but ensure on an everyday basis you do give time to that person you cannot be like 
I spoke to her today, so let me speak to her maybe after two days. Or I spoke to him today, let me speak to him next week. He will still understand. No, guys, that's not how relationship works. It has to be an everyday business. It has to be something where you do want to spend your time on. Okay, even if it's a one hour, even if it's a one hour that you speak, because that's practical, guys. These days, people in relationship do speak for five hours, six hours, uh, continuously. So, even if it's a one hour, it is valuable. So, talk, get to know that person. Giving time is really important in a relationship because if you do not give time, that will push the other person away from you. Else, so do give time. That's important. So, my third question that I have. Okay, somebody told me uh, he lied to me and I know it. If I react, I feel I will lose him. So, if he lies to you, he or she, but this person asked me about uh, her boyfriend, but it could be a he or it could be a she here. If that person is lied to you, don't just pounce on them, don't just go there and, you know, start shouting at them and just make them feel like, you know what, you lied to me and I know what you're doing. Don't be interrogative, here you have to be empathetic is what I would say. That is the trick you really need to use here. Yeah, you can ask me what is there to show empathy, but that is the trick to keeping up a good relationship, guys. So be, get in that empathy in it. Just talk to that person. Just tell that person, you know what, I know you well. As much as I know you, I also know something that you're telling me is not right that is a lie and it's okay i'm i'm here for you it's okay i'm with you you can talk to me about it just be open with me about it talk to me if that's wrong yes i'll be more than happy to tell you yes that's wrong baby do not do it next time otherwise i can even tell you okay people do lie it is practical and you did lie for a good thing so we can talk it out just talk it out guys you don't have to fight it off talk it out that's the best way to handle a lie, all right? Until and unless it is not something that comes up to loyalty. Loyalty, I would absolutely not give up on, guys. So if the guy has guy or the girl has lied about being loyal, they do not deserve a second chance. They absolutely do not deserve a second chance. And this is absolutely my opinion. I'm not sure how it is for you guys. So let's move on to the fourth question. Since I'm a girl... I do, do I have to be the one who always says sorry? Okay, this is another girl who asked me because she's a girl in a relationship. Does she really have to say sorry always? Absolutely no. See, guy or a girl, you both are human. You both have equal emotions. You both have equality. Okay, so first treat your partners equal. When I cry, even that person can cry. If I can get angry, even that person can cry can get angry if I can get upset that person can also get upset maybe a guy or a girl so just understand that baseline over here so it does not need to be always in a relationship if it's a girl or a boy it does not need to be that always whatever happens the girl has to say sorry or whatever happens the boy has to say sorry we know end of the day we are humans guys we have six senses so we know when I am doing a mistake I know for the fact that Yes, it is my mistake. So don't bring your ego in there and just say, but still, why should I say sorry? She is my girlfriend, let her say sorry. Or he is my boyfriend, let him say sorry. Because he fought with me about it. Do not be like that. That is going to affect your relationship. It's okay. If it's your mistake, admit it. Listen to the other person. Just give them some time to talk to you. As in how they talk, they talk to you, I'm sure they will talk to you in a way that Put some senses in your mind, take it into your mind, take it to your heart and say sorry. Say sorry, it's okay. If it's my mistake, I will be more than happy to say sorry. It is not going to cost you anything but it's going to bring you more and more happiness. It's going to give the other person more and more trust in you. Do not bring your attitude in here and say, you know, even if I do the mistake, the other person has to say sorry. Then I am really sorry guys, you're going to lose the person. One day or the other day, you're just going to lose the person. And you never know. That person might be the best one that you could ever get in your life. So, deal it. Deal with it. But delicately. Okay. So, let's move on to the um, 
fifth question this is going to be my last question that i'm going to address here i love her i feel she does not understand men's point of view i hate her for that okay they say he says he loves her a lot but he feels that she does not understand men's point of view and he hates her for that at times so yes this happens to a lot of people girl we girls always think we are delicate darlings we are sensitive we have mood swings we have a lot of things going on but have you ever thought what about men guys once a guy gets into a relationship or a man gets into a relationship you need to know he is going to hold maximum ma sorry again a blooper alert maximum number of responsibilities on him he's going to take it because you are going to his be his responsibility your happiness is going to be his responsibility okay for all this he has to work hard he has to plan his life he has to get it all straight up there to make it beautiful for you girls so please understand it's not just that you go through a lot yes i understand girls go through mood swings girls go through a lot of issues girls issues that this everything can come up but in a relationship please do not bring in your personal issues put it there right in front of him and say i face more issues than you that cannot work in a relationship you have to understand the other person and when it comes to a man i would always respect men for that absolutely my 100% respect will be there for him because just to feed you just to keep you happy just to support you just to be there for you these guys have to go out face everyone's dirty attitude dirty ego they have to bow down to people they have to work hard they have to sweat it out they have to come back home and again smile at your face and say baby i can handle this it is difficult girls please understand don't make it hard for them just give them some time if they really need time if they really need to work it out just respect them for that the basic that we can do in a relationship is respecting the other person and the same applies to you guys just because the girl does not go out she does not sweat it out she does not work hard she does not stand there like a man and support your family that does not mean she does not have her own issues she does so do talk about it talking i think communication is the best in a relationship as in how you communicate with each other as in how you tell each other how you feel about it things are going to be fine so well, guys i'm going to bring in a new concept which says birthday requests so this is going to be absolutely a new concept that i'm going to introduce on my channel okay so what is this birthday requests about so for example if you have a birthday of your loved ones it could be a family friends it could be anyone special to you in the month of june please do leave their date their name and a one liner comment or a one liner wish for them in the comments below in the comment section below so what i will do is in the month of may for all the birthdays that or birthday requests that i get for the month of june i'm going to collate all those birthdays on june 1st i will put up a video there okay which has the data for everybody's birthday requests that i've got and that video will completely be a video where i will read out the name and the one liner wish for that person okay so this is going to continue so first of every month there will come up a video from me which completely is going to be a birthday request video okay that means i'm going to thank you guys for your existence so i'm going to convey the wish that your loved ones want to give out to you all right thank you so much for watching this video guys i will be back with more exciting fun knowledgeable content on my upcoming videos so until i see you guys next time just before i sign off like i always believe in be you love yourself the world will fall in love with you trust me on this stay happy stay positive love you all